OK, uh, let's get our final guest out. Ladies and gentlemen, he is one of the finest stand-up comedians in the country. Very funny man. I've never seen him live, but I've been told that. <laughs> <laughs> but his TV work I've always admired and enjoyed fully. He is Mr Peter Kay. Here he is. Peter. Hello. Hello. Thank you for me. No, I don't think so. You've got the music. You're not singing for me. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Would you, uh, hello. Hello. Come sit down, Peter. Would you like the fellas to sing for you? you sing yeah, I won't mind. You? Can they, you know? Well, well, okay. Let's see if they can do a request for you. Um, man, child, Paula Abdul. <laughs> um, <laughs> white lines don't do it. Rock me on my day as Falco. Wrong genre. Wrong genre. Yeah. <laughs> Rabbit, Chaz and Dave. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do? Dancing Queen. Copacabana, I will survive. <laughs> yeah. Which one? I will survive. Do, no, no, I, I can't stand that. It reminds me of a wedding. <laughs> do, um, do, um, do Copacabana. You know it? That's it. You got it? No, let, no! Let's do something from Kids from Fame. <laughs> Star Maker. Do you know Star Maker? <laughs> do, do, do you know any kids from fame, Jonathan? You know what? I, no, I'm not even paying attention. I've got my Game Boy out. <laughs> <laughs> Come on over, Peter. Come on Thank over, you, fellas. Come Enough on over. This chaos. Come on, join us. <laughs> Thank you, and by the way, fellas, well done. <laughs> and that's what they were doing well then. They were keeping up with your mercurial mind. Don't cut that out. That's probably going to be my biggest laugh. Peter, get your feet off the couch. What are you doing? What are you mumping? I'm nervous, man! <laughs> That's nervous. nerves! That's what it is! <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm not Phil Jupiter's. <laughs> I'm not Phil K. I'm not um, Rick Waller. <laughs> They've got nice teeth. Oh. His teeth are a bit tragic. Don't. You're very nasty, man, you. I am not nasty. I don't know you get away with it for all these Peter, years. But it comes from a nice place. It, it comes from... Yeah. Who's... <laughs> Who's... Why do um... you sit there? <laughs> <laughs> What's the point? I know. You come on and all he does is abuse I know. you. I know. And that's your job. And I can't get a word in. <laughs> My God. Yeah. Well, you'd be better off delivering it free papers. <laughs> <laughs> you know where they're from? Yeah. You carry a paper. Yeah. Dump a mic canal and take your money. <laughs> you sit up here, won't you? Come on. No, Come I get told I'm not going to send it to you. You can join us. No, I don't. Is that a false thing? <laughs> yeah. Douglas Barter. Douglas Barter. Come on up. Come right up. Come right up. Come on. <laughs> See that then? Yeah, what? Well, crankies. <laughs> I, I, I think. Hello, I think... Ian. How are you? Hey. I think well. we're eavesdropping on a special moment. I don't know. He's <laughs> Peter Gay. You hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll move back down. Give me room. <laughs> well, I've got loads of you on video at home and you stick last resort. You oh, so you are a bit of a strange bug because you tape like loads of stuff on TV, don't you? I used to put a tape player in front of telly and tape TV things. Right. And then my mum shouting in the kitchen, Peter, your tea's ready. Come on, get your tea. <laughs> I'm like, I'm taping the theme from Tenko, woman. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to? Were you, a, you were a cinema yeah. projectionist once, weren't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, pretend I'll, you were for the sake of this yeah, interview. I worked with... I was an usher. Uh, <laughs> so you forgive me for being so no, far no, off no, the well, map. You, well, you, don't, well, you had you a don't, torch you were working in a I cinema. I didn't have a torch. Well, what, I used to dream of having a torch. <laughs> <laughs> £2.40 an hour and all sweets you can eat. And then we had the only partially sighted dwarf projectionist in England who put the trailer for Showgirls up front of Paul Contas. <laughs> I'll never forget that. A Saturday afternoon, <laughs> and he said, Paul Verhoeven. <laughs> and all these uh, custody dads were like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, Alan, take it off, man. He said, it's Paul Cons, it's a you. Showgirls. Hey, that were a good job. I used to stand at the top of the steps, and they'd have standees, cardboard standees, and you'd just take Gene Ackman's head off and fan yourself. <laughs> <laughs> put it back, you know. And tell people ends of films when they were coming in. I didn't think Bruce Willis were a ghost. There you go, stream. <laughs> <laughs> End of seven. I think you'll be, be around in a box. There you go. Screen three. <laughs> Enjoy the film. Uh, but you, because you came to stand up quite late, you had a lot of proper jobs. I had a lot of proper jobs, and then I just people always used to say, you know, you should have a go at stand up, but you know, them's, them's your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> and then I did, and, and you know, next thing you know, Jed's a millionaire. But you, <laughs> <laughs> but the that's TV, TV theme. You see who it's in. Yeah. Once it's in, it's not coming out. It's son. stuck in there. It's in there. But you know you can buy albums with themes on now and yeah, CD. Yeah, but there's all them, and you buy them and you get it home. And it's, there's something 
Brr Orchestra of Germany. And you're like, oh, what a friggin' rip-off. I, awesome. I want the proper themes like you get off the television. Uh, what's your favourite theme? Van der Velk. <laughs> I used to work with... You know what that... What's theme from Van der Velk called? It's called the theme from Van der Velk. No, it's not. It's got a name. Eye level. Eye level. Eye level. And I used to work with a manager at Cash and Kerry. And I'm putting some stuff out on, <laughs> on shelves. And he come over and he said, he's, whoa, 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 whoa. Eye level is buy level. <laughs> <laughs> if they can't see it, they can't buy it. <laughs> and I said, eye level is the theme tune to Vanderbilt. <laughs> <laughs> Stick your job up your ass, I said. <laughs> Go on. I used to work at a place called Morgan's Food Fair. Yeah. Many years ago. And the cat used to sleep on the ham. Mm -hmm. The cat used to sleep on the ham, and you know the ham. You know you have the big old boiled hams. You put in a zit, zit. Yeah. I know you used to fear oh, for me fingers, but I used to love it really. I got was, a joke about it. It was dangerous but exciting at the same time, and you were helping the elderly because they liked it cut quite thin. I'd do it wafer thin for one of the old ladies, but, but <laughs> often though there'd be a few cat hairs on it. Oh. And the manager, Mr. Morgan, used to go, doesn't matter, and he used to take an old cloth and used to wipe it clean, and the same cloth that used to wipe the floor with. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, because you, you, you do the stand-up, but you also, you're a talented uh, comic actor. There's a film out of 24-hour party people, <laughs> which you're terrific in. Have you seen that? Yeah, I liked it a lot, and you're I'd, great in it. I'd, I'd, I like that film. I didn't like it first time I saw it, because I watched it with Susan, my wife, and uh, I'm at the back of a with two prostitutes. <laughs> and I didn't know about that. I didn't read my scripts. They come at me with these coloured thongs, said, put these. I said, what for? They went, I went, uh, very funny. And they went, no, for the... And I read it. And you know, when you, if you get a script, you just read your line. You don't read the directions. Yeah, like I would ever get a script. <laughs> well, you might do. You know, no. I would bring carry-ons back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, so I get this and I... Um, I read it and... Um, you know... And I, next thing, I went back of a transit van. So you're trying to tell us that you didn't read the fact in the script. You, this is just an elaborate alibi no, for your I wife didn't. at and home. No, I didn't. You didn't know you had a nude scene with two strippers in the back of a van. You liar. Yeah, but you watched. I didn't take anything off because I, uh, I thought my mum was going to go mad here. But you must be happy making TV now more than just about anyone else I know because you actually make you I can like choose the your own themes. Well, you know, but it's interesting for me to see someone who's obviously grown up and one would have written you off. Let's face it, when you were living at home with your mum, yeah. we would have said, that guy's a, a loser forever. <laughs> yeah, well, you were a big-time loser. And, uh, well, in a nice way. In a, in a, in the, yes. Really? <laughs> but now... Now? F*** them. <laughs> I'm here. I'm coming. You are? Get him in my bungalow. And then I'm out this business. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I want to say before we do? Uh, you, Phoenix Nights, which I loved. Yeah, I'll just... Well, I'll tell you something. Can I just say, Jonathan? I'll tell you something. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the only person who's been on a chat show to chat. <laughs> I've nothing to plug. I'm in a garden centre and I'm here. I'm, I'm doing nothing. I'm signing on. Well, <laughs> I have nothing to plug. Well, don't spoil it. No, no. We were all enjoying it until you started moaning about it. <laughs> no, no, I'm having a good time. Well, I'm let's think of something to plug. Are you doing a live tour again at some time? 70 nights I'm doing. That'll get a bit of weight off. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I know. The, I'm... Weight, the weight's not an issue for you, though, is it? No. Until <laughs> <laughs> I saw myself on that. Oh, gee. <laughs> yeah, but you're not meant to be good looking, but a bloke out of EastEnders, he needs to go on a diet. <laughs> oh, you're all right. Oh, no, hold it. Oh, right. <laughs> You know he looked like that. Well, Dr. Lane. He looked like Alvin Stardust. He does, not he? Stardust. It's Alvin Stardust. Yeah. When he was pointing, he was like, who's that dancing in the red dress? I want her for a lover. Now get her up, get That's her it. up. That's it. That's what he wants to do now. He could do stars in the eyes. Now, if you left EastEnders, is he still in? He's still in still for in. now, but when they see this show, he'll be out. That'll be it. Back, <laughs> back get, a, get a slim bloke in. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, thank you for coming on the show. It's a... Hey, like that. Hey, look, and hey. some of this. Yo. Yeah, that's it. Now we're down with the brothers. <laughs> hey, come on. <laughs> Is that what they do in Bolton, then? Is that give, me kind five. Of... give me five. Too slow. No. <laughs> I've got you. Yeah, no, it didn't work. <laughs> <Go on. laughs> no, I've got an eight year old. I know how to do that. <laughs> but if you want to be adopted, there's room at home for you. Uh, hey, I'd love to come and live with you. <laughs> That's it. The but thing... that could be a new reality show. Yeah, can you... Can... Pete moves in with Jonathan. <laughs> Black Alf. Hello, yeah, with us. Thank God we have no more time. <laughs> Peter Clay, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Peter.
<laughs> you stay in there. <laughs>